Yo, what's good, Mr. Pentastar in the building? Today we're gonna talk about how you guys can stop losing horsepower. How you gonna do that, Mr. Pentastar? How you gonna do that? <laughs> nah, but for real, we gotta clean this air filter, man. Look at this. Thing is dirty. Utah is mad dusty from all the mountains and dust, and dirt, bugs, you name it, man. So we're gonna talk about quick way how you can restore some horsepower back to your car of course I don't know how much that's gonna be but it will make your engine a bit more efficient if you can clear out the dust and dirt and debris from your filter for your cold air intake see some dead bugs see some mosquitoes lint feathers all kinds of just stuff in here but we're gonna get this cleaned out I got a washable filter from air aid as you guys can tell so I'll show you guys what you can do. Okay, cold air filter has been removed. There's the part number if you guys are curious. 723243. Washable air raid filter. They recommend that you wash this about every 30,000 miles. This will be the second time that I've cleaned mines. So think of it this way when you have your AC on in the summertime. They recommend you change your filter every couple months, right? Same thing applies to your car. We need air for power, we need air for efficiency, and if your filter's all clogged up and jacked up, your car's gonna be working a lot harder to supply that power that the engine needs, right? So, we're gonna go ahead and handle business, try to clean this up, just like if we're gonna clean our air conditioning unit or change the filter out there, we're gonna wash this up. So what I use is, I just use some all-purpose cleaner. I got some 409 all-purpose cleaner. You can use other kinds too. You can use Simply Green. You can use the Air Aid Professional Spray, but essentially it's the same thing as the all-purpose cleaner. So I don't do anything crazy. So first thing you wanna do is, you wanna bang out some of the extra dirt and debris. So just bang it a little bit, get the loose, dirt that's in the filter pow, 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 pow. <laughs> that's fun next we will spray the all-purpose cleaner cover the whole filter then let it soak for like 10 minutes so I'm just gonna spray on there got that side sit it up this way this side Let it do its thing, let it work. Try not to get it too oversaturated. But make sure you get all the grooves. Okay, I'm gonna let that soak for about 10 minutes and then I'll be back. All right, hopefully y'all can see me. All right, 10 minutes, ready to be washed. So what the trick is, is that you need to wash from the inside. All, all the way around. Don't spray it on the outside. Wash it from the inside. Get everything all out. And then you gotta let it air dry. Fairly simple. See how this works out. The boy might get a little bit wet. You know what I'm saying? Alright. cleaner so now I'm gonna let this air dry and I might even put it in the dryer I got a little drying rack in my dryer rack could kind of speed up the process but it's pretty sunny today as you can tell so I'll probably just put this in the Sun come back and we'll do some engine revs see how things sound